Uh, one of the first, uh, one of my favourite bands um, that I've worked with over the years has to be Papa Roach. I've known them, oh God, since the late nineties, well maybe before then, or twenty five years at least, it seems, and uh, it's been fantastic to watch them just keep going at it and, and never giving up. And one of the most energetic bands I've ever ever witnessed. Great songs, and if we go back to, I think it was two thousand when the Finally started coming through the new metal along at the same time as uh, sort of Linkin Park, another band I was the first promoter, Scottish promoter for. Um, but Papa Roach with, with, with Jacoby or whatever he wants to call himself now, uh, Kobe, Jacoby. But what a front man, what great songs, you know, like uh, Christ, you know, uh, of the Insect album, um, our Last Resort, what a song. Uh, Brilliant! It just blew me away, and it was great having them at the garage. But and, and you know, God, I can't even remember the date so so much so so long ago. But I remember, you know, take it out of the the garage. I remember uh, they were on a gig of the green and the same show as Marlon Manson and Alien Ant Farm and other bands that I worked with. And uh, I remember what a day that was. Eminem played that day, that on that bill. But it was just mental, mental, and uh, of course I'm in the, I'm in the, I think it was Alien Ant Farm's dressing room, and then uh, yeah, thing uh, the coat, or what's his name, singing at the coat. Every tries to climb in a window. You've got uh, band members from Marlon Manson there. The Alien Ant Farm guys are sitting about, and uh, Papa Roach had just come off stage, <laughs> and I remember Jackie be coming up in the. You know, hey man, I says, oh, what, what's wrong with your head? You know, it, it was all cuts, and he'd been thumping the microphone off his head. And uh, we're all a bit pissed, and I says, oh, that's not how you get a you know, cut head. And I remember grabbing a bottle of Iron Brew, I think it was, it was and I smashed it off my head. <laughs> and we, oh, what a laugh. And uh, no, Christ, I can't even remember what year that was, but a, a long time ago, and I don't do that anymore. And, uh, Thank goodness, and uh, but we get on really well when they come up here. Um, party, you know, Kobe likes a wee party every now and again. And the good thing is, he's a Celtic fan, and uh, so again, great guys. The whole band are, are fantastic, and it's as I say, it's just been brilliant to watch them. One hit the the, the dizzy heights, you know, years ago, and then keeping at it. And not seeming to age, and actually they've got more energetic, not less as time has went on. Can't be said the same about me, you know. Definitely, definitely not. But every time they come up with the great pleasure, great man to work with, he's easy, easy going, and they love it. They love what they do, and so there, I love them.